I mean, your roof isn't doing anything else. I mean, might as well catch sunlight and turn it into, into $20 bills. At Solar Syntex and Harker Heights. And we've been in business since 2012. Turning sunlight into dollar bills is a business. The state has its own energy grid, and uh, it's it's been stressed out a couple of times. Uh, I would often joke around with my friends that I was just going to move from, from national security to Texas energy security. Yes, national security was Scott Airy's first job. Commissioned as a lieutenant at West Point in 1988, he spent 25 years serving the U.S. Army around the world. Nine of those years right here in Central Texas. So after I left Fort Hood, I had another couple of assignments to Afghanistan, to uh, Washington, D.C., and uh, Pennsylvania. But I, I came back here when the first opportunity arose. And when retirement came, Airy took on a new challenge. I mean, the state goes through, I mean, really pretty tremendous growth. And I figure every person that has solar on their rooftop is, is contributing to the reliability of our grid. Doing his part to preserve the power grid in Texas. Every assignment you get in the military is a new job and typically one you've never done before. So really starting a small business was the same way. It was about managing people, objectives, supplies. When we first started this company, I mean, everybody on the team was, was a veteran. Now Ari installs solar grids on homes and businesses all over the state, seeing the benefits of alternative energy firsthand. What used to be a, a payment I would send to TXU each month turned into a Ford Fiesta payment for my older daughter, and then now it's just really money in my pocket now. It's, it's really, really nice. Now his customers are seeing it too. I, I've watched grown men get kind of teary-eyed when they see their meter run backwards. And it's, and it's a good feeling. It's a real sense of satisfaction to know that you've taken sunlight that was before just hitting a rooftop, and now you're actually turning it into usable energy. He fulfilled his first purpose, and now he has a new one turning a passion into a business model, a challenge he says any veteran can handle. And they have all the skill sets they need. They have some financial protection since they have a military pension. Uh, and I think that alone is, is, is enough to, I mean, sh I hope it gives a, a lot of veterans the ability to say, you know what, I should, I should give this a shot. Because the last thing you want to do is, is, you know, finish something and say, I really wish I had tried it. And I know that I will always be able to say that I tried it. And in this case, we've been very successful at it. Lisa Hudson, Channel 6 News.